Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Finding Your Perfect Camper. I want to take a moment and thank everyone who's entered so far. We absolutely love it. It's fun for us and we hope you guys find it beneficial. If you're interested in participating, click the link above, fill out the form, zero personal information involved. We're happy to find a camper for you. We're putting the video out where we moved it from Fridays to Saturday, so every Saturday morning. This week's entry comes from Chad. Chad has a budget of $33,000. He has a family size of six. His total tow capacity is 9,000 pounds. He plans on using it for vacations, weekend trips. He's really wanting an outside kitchen, bunks. He does want a travel trailer and he needs it to sleep about six to eight people, which makes sense. Family of six, you've probably got some kiddos that want to take friends and stuff along. So we're going to start out with this Puma 28 BHSS. It comes in at 32,965, so we're just a little under his budget. It's got a total weight of 7,524, so we're under his tow capacity, and we can actually sleep 10 in this bad boy. So let's take a look. First off, you notice on the back, we do have a ladder, so it is a fully walkable roof, making it super easy to get up there, clean, maintain. You are back up, rear observation camera prepped. All you gotta do is buy the camera, plop that bad boy in there, you're good to go. We have an outside kitchen. This was one of the asks of Chad, and with having kids, this is a great ask because you've got cooking surface, you've got a place to wash hands and stuff, but my favorite part is actually the refrigerator. So you can keep some cold beverages out here for the kiddos while they're running around getting dirty all day long. They're not traipsing in and out of the camper. They're grabbing a drink right here. So that's a really nice feature that Chad's looking for. On the outside, you'll notice we have a big powered awning that does have LED lights under it. Your stabilizer jacks are uh, automatic, electric. You don't have to worry about cranking anything. You do have two entries into the camper. We're gonna go ahead and start in this entry here in a second. I also wanna point out one other thing on the outside and that is that you do have a TV hookup up there. So you can actually set a TV up outside and chill outside if you want. Let's go ahead and decide to take a look. Okay, so now we're inside, and as you come in, I want to point out that you do have a couple of drawers here as you come in, so that's good for some storage, some quick, easy access from the outside. Immediately to my right is our bunk room. So as you see, we actually have four sleeping areas back here. The couch is in its down position right now, but you've got four sleeping areas here. You also have a place to put a TV, video game system, and some storage for the kiddos in here. And another great thing is you do have a door to close this off. So if you have some older kids that are traveling with you, or um, your kids just want some privacy, you can close this door off, give them that. We have a giant U-shaped dinette. It does have storage underneath it, this does also turn into a bed. So you could sleep a couple of people here on the U-shaped dinette. We have our jackknife sofa. So that's also gonna sleep a couple of people, but it's a nice chill place during the day. Directly across, you see we have our kitchen area. So we've got some cabinets below the sink, as well as a couple of cabinets up above. We have all stainless steel appliances in here. We've got a big deep stainless steel sink stainless steel detachable sprayer, stainless steel microwave, three burner stove, and then our refrigerator. As you can see, a lot of room, big refrigerator freezer, and a cool place to store all your dry goods. If you're not using this just for dry goods, you can also use it for blankets and board games and things like that. Directly across from that jackknife sofa that I was talking about is our entertainment area. So we've got our TV on a swivel, we have our Bluetooth soundbar. We have a fireplace. The fireplace is all electric. So you can turn it on just for the ambiance if you want, but it's really great. Early season camping, late season camping. You can kick that on. It will heat this whole area nicely. You're using the campground's electricity and it just feels cozy. And then the last part I want to show you, or second to last part, bathroom and bedroom. So here's another great thing I like about this. You'll see we have our neo angled shower toilet, and then we have our sink with storage underneath it, as well as our medicine cabinet. But another great thing about this bathroom is that second entry into here. We were talking about cutting down on the foot traffic, especially with kids running in and out of the camper, or even just friends and stuff hanging out at the campfire. It's nice that you have that separate entry to the bathroom so they're not traipsing through the entire camper to go to the bathroom. 
Last but not least, we have our bedroom. So we've got a queen size bed that does have storage underneath it. You can get around both sides of the bed as you can see. We have nightstands on both sides, actually really big nightstands, and they do have charging port. This side has regular and USB, that side just has regular. We have the his and hers closets, as well as a couple of additional storage areas here. You are set for a second AC if you wanted one. And you have a backer here in the wall so you can actually mount a TV in here, close the door, get away from the kiddos, and lay back here and relax at the end of the evening. Let's go check out camper number two. I didn't have to go far for camper number two. It's right back here behind me. This is the Hideout 29 DFS. So this one comes in at 29,125. So we're a little bit less than the Puma we just showed you. We do still have that outside kitchen. We sleep six to 10 people. We have bunks and our total weight on this one is only 6,950 pounds. So we're a little less cost and we're a little less weight. Let's check this one out. So you do not have a ladder on this one. Doesn't mean you can't get up on your roof. You just got to take a ladder with you. You are backup camera sort of prep. There's a little bit more involved in this. So, but you still have it there. You've got an outside kitchen. This one doesn't have a sink. You've got your cooktop, and then you do still have that refrigerator. There's tape on it, but it's the same refrigerator as the camper I just showed you. On the outside, you'll see we do have the two entries again. We have our outside speakers, a awning that stretches 50% of the camper that's got LED lights. That is a powered awning. You do still have the electric stabilizer jacks. Um, this one also still has the TV mount. So you can still have a TV out here. Let's go in and check out the inside. Okay, so as we come in the entry, immediately to the side, we've got our double over double bunks. So you've got ample space for a couple of kiddos on each one, or if you have adults traveling with you, they've got space and there is storage underneath the bed. Right here's our bathroom. So this one actually has a tub shower combo. Of course you have your toilet and then your sink with medicine cabinet up above it directly outside the bathroom and to the side here, you have a nice little storage area where you can hang stuff or like I said, keep those board games, towels, blankets, all that good stuff. Our jackknife sofa, again, that does turn into a bed. So you're sleeping a couple of people there. We still have that U-shaped dinette, again, folds down into a bed and you can sleep a couple of people there. And then directly across from that is our entertainment area. So here's where we have our TV that is on a swivel we have our Bluetooth radio. This one does also still have the fireplace, so same benefits and functionality of the other one. And that has a really cool space back here. Check this out. You can hide all kinds of stuff back there, but it's a nice little pantry basically. But what they've done is they've utilized the space and they just put it back there, so it's kind of cool. Kitchen area, a little bit bigger of a kitchen area. This one has the stainless steel refrigerator. But you have a black three tops, uh, three burner stove. You've got a black microwave. And then countertop space with storage below as well as above. And one thing I want to point out that the hideout has that the Puma didn't is the central vac system. So you don't have to take a broom, a dustpan, a vacuum cleaner, anything like that with you. You pull the hose out, you sweep, you put the hose up, you're done. It's a nice little feature. We come back here into the bedroom. Our second entry in this unit is actually into the bedroom. We've got a set of cabinets right there that act as storage, but you do still have the his and hers closet. You do have the storage underneath the bed, and then you actually have a TV backer here on this wall, so you can mount a TV on a swivel and watch TV back here. And if I can get a hold of it, you still have that barn door for privacy. All right, let's go check out our last camper. Now we've come to our last camper. This is the Passport 268BH, so it is a bunkhouse camper again. We're at 31,875, so we're still under that budget. We're at 5,770 pounds tow weight, so again, under that. We do have the outside kitchen. We're gonna sleep six to 10 people, and again, we have those bunks, so let's check this one out. So you do have a nice big pass-through storage up here at the front. You still have that powered electric awning that we were talking about on the other two units. You have a smaller outside kitchen. 
similar to the hideout that we were just looking at where you have your cooktop and then you have that same refrigerator. So all three of these units have that same refrigerator. This one does have the hookup on the outside for TV. Well, let's go check out the inside. As we come in, you actually have a bank of drawers and a cabinet right here off to the side. And what's really cool about this cabinet, and I'll show you from the other side, you can access it from both ways. Then immediately as we come in, our bedroom is off here to the side. Again, queen size bed, storage underneath that bed. Big nightstands. This side actually has a drawer so you can hide snacks and stuff in there. You have USB and regular charging on both sides. The his and hers closet as well as some storage up above there. And again, a TV backer for in here in the bedroom. As we work our way around, we have our jackknife sofa that will again turn into a bed. You can sleep a couple of people there. We have that big U-shaped dinette again, which again is going to sleep a couple of people. But also, I didn't really mention in the other ones, it's still giving you ample space for the entire family, which is nice. Back here at the back of the unit, we have our restroom. So we have a stand-up shower, toilet. We have our sink with storage below the sink and our medicine cabinet again. Our double over double bunks are right here. And one of the cool things about this unit, I didn't show you from the outside, that if you'll notice, there's a door back there. You can lock it from the outside. This bed will actually fold up. So if you're needing to take bikes or even a kayak or whatever, you have additional storage there in transit. And then once you get where you're going, you can put the bed down. This one has really big, deep cabinets that you can use as a pantry. We have that stainless steel refrigerator again. Again, a lot of space in there. We have our black microwave, our black three burner stove, and then our TV is right there and that is on a swivel. So you can see that basically from anywhere on the camper. And Greer, if you'll come around here, I did want to show that cabinet that I promised. As you can see, nice big cabinet and you have entry to that from both sides. And really cool, like you have quite a bit of countertop space, but this bad boy actually folds up and down to give you more uh, prep space. So there you have it, Chad. I hope this was helpful for you. And guys, as always, like I said, if you'd like to participate, click that link above, fill out that brief little form telling us kind of what you're looking for, and we'll feature you in one of our upcoming episodes that airs every Saturday morning. Thank you to everyone who's participated so far, and happy camping.